Focus now on children. We've seen an alarming rise in kids testing positive. And while most cases are not severe, local hospitals are seeing some cases that are serious enough for children to be admitted. We do have live team coverage for you tonight, starting with our health reporter Haley Hernandez. She's live at the Texas Medical Center. Haley? Yeah, I know a lot of you are still concerned about what COVID could do to your kids. So I got some of the latest stats on what Delta is doing to kids in our area. Carinza Hernandez says she, her husband and four year old just recovered from the virus. My daughter did not have any symptoms. If it weren't for uh, me testing positive and her being exposed to my elderly parents, we probably would not have gotten her tested just because she didn't exhibit any of those symptoms. As cases among kids go up, most are proving they recover just fine, but some are getting severe infections. UTMB has five children hospitalized with COVID. Texas Children's has 25, and Memorial Hermann says they have more than 100. And since the beginning of the pandemic, six kids between 10 and 19 have died in Houston. We're seeing a big surge in cases under the age of 20. Across Texas, there have been 57 deaths in kids under 19. While 57 grieving families is too many, it remains a small but significant number that shows while the risk of death is extremely low, any child unvaccinated is at risk. If we had been vaccinated, the, de the Delta wouldn't be spreading so quickly. So again, main message is uh, protect yourself and protect your family with the vaccine. Corinza says she feels lucky they were one of the mild cases. And we were checking her for a fever. She had a low-grade fever, 99 to 100, um, but that was it. We would ask her, you know, how are you feeling? How are you doing? And she was fine. Now, Stephen Kelder with UT Health is surveying COVID patients to get a lot of the data that matters to you most. Here's one that he told me. He says of the children that they've surveyed, 66% have no antibodies, meaning they have no protection against the virus. Reporting live at the Medical Center, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.